So the Adweek crew tell me that these, these words have been added to the Webster Dictionary. No doubt they haven't been added to the, the really good dictionaries, the Oxford Dictionary or the Cambridge Dictionary. These are awful, awful words. Words like buy-in, I don't, which I don't like. Tweet storm, okay. Impression, just to show you that we're being transparent. On brand, I'm not so sure about that either. It's not a word either, it's hyphenated. Influencer, yeah, that's important. We use influencers in our day-to-day -day content operation at Media Monks, and indeed in our programmatic operations at Mighty Hive we come into contact and are using influencers to a significant degree. So I think it's a very interesting part of our new business, of our new digital business and the new digital economy. Buzzy, not so sure about that either. Why that would be a new word, I don't quite know. And gig economy, okay, we'll go with that, but that's two words according to my reckoning, not one. I mean, some of these things are trite. I think buzzy is trite. On brand has been around, I think, for a long period of time. Obviously impressions are important in the context of the change to digital as is Tweetstorm buy-in. You know, we've had for years, Buzzy we've had for years, gig economy is important. So some of those words, I'm a little bit surprised they've only just crept into the Webster Dictionary. I thought they would have been there before. But none of these words are really important words, actually. The, the important words are purely digital, the holy trinity, faster, better, cheaper, and last but not least, a unitary structure. That's what's really important and should be added to all dictionaries.